Hi, happy equinox. I'm Dr. Kara of KH Evolution, and I wanted to give you a quick video update on some of the aspects that we're stepping into due to this really auspicious day out of the year. I love the equinox and the solstice times because they are pivotal time periods in our calendar in regards to uh, the shifting of energy, the shifting of seasons. And so when we're living according to nature or in alignment with nature, these pivotal days are fall equinox, uh, winter solstice, spring equinox, and summer solstice are amazing and powerful times where our energy shifts along with the energy on the planet. So as the planetary energy shifts and makes a dynamic, um, uh, a dynamic shift in, um, in the earth and in the atmosphere, we respond to that. And so I'd love to know what your day has been like. So I want to share with you that the equinox is a day of powerful balance. It's when the light and the dark are nearly the same amount of time on the planet. And so what happens within our lives on a day like this is that uh, we are uh, pushed and nudged to understand and come to see where our, uh, where in our lives we may be struggling to maintain balance or maintain equilibrium. And so if you're feeling fatigued today, Perhaps one of the aspects that is trying to get your attention is a greater amount of investment of your resources into self-care or rest or play. If perhaps you are struggling with getting your to-do list done, um, maybe the universe is trying to help you realize that uh, balance, greater balance is needed in the space of time management or where you want to allocate your resources for your, uh, your tasks at hand. So I encourage you to take a look at how your day has unfolded, even how yesterday may have unfolded, and then tomorrow, because remember, we also have this um, pre and post shadow period of before and after the actual day's events where the energy is leading up to that. So we can see hints and glimpses of what the universe is trying to get our attention on or what spirit is trying to get our attention on um, when uh, we take a look at the aspects that are happening in our life and uh, we invite spirit in for greater clarity and greater insight. So if you journal or meditate, it's just a great time to meditate on these subjects and these uh, particular um, these particular interests because it can give us great insight in what we want to work on between now and winter solstice. So, um, if you're in the southern hemisphere, then you're looking at. Uh, spring equinox and I'm really uh, excited for you because you know I love the warmer uh, months than than the cooler months uh, but there's blessings in each of these seasons uh, so just take a just remember that you're probably not celebrating or seeing things quite as similarly although it is still a day of equanimity um, the other thing that I want to mention is that when we apply the teachings of the medicine wheel to our yearly calendar and we approach the fall equinox, we step from the south direction on the medicine wheel into the west direction on the medicine wheel. Now, remember, we are simultaneously experiencing all directions at the same time. However, there's each season has a stronger a sense of a particular aspect of the medicine wheel. And so that stronger sense from fall to uh, fall into winter is the west direction of the medicine wheel. 
And here we encounter our mother Jaguar. She teaches us a lot about personal power. We also encounter the shadow work, right? So we get invited to go into the darker parts or the darker aspects of who we are and shine that light and just discover new gifts in ourselves, make shifts uh, where we are uh, unhappy or no longer aligned with certain aspects of ourselves. So it's a beautiful time as we take this step on this um, fall equinox and we start to, or we continue to see the days um, get darken, right? We have less and less light as we move towards that day of winter solstice, which is the, the darkest day on the planet each year. And so it gives us that great opportunity to just uh, go deeper within ourselves. Uh, it's a time where we tend to um, need and also crave more rest, more uh, time in solitude. We tend to pull our energy back a little bit from, um, from being in groups or spending time with lots of, of people because sometimes that can wear our energy down a little bit. So just keep this in mind. Um, again, biggest reminder for today is to take a look at what feels out of balance in your life. And we can get clues on what is out of balance in our life based on how we feel, how we're responding to certain aspects, uh, certain things that are popping up in, in front of us today. What are your reactions like? All of this can provide great insight. And so use your tools, your meditation, your walks in nature, your time with yourself, your journaling to really dive a little deeper and to get some insight. These pivotal points, um, these changes from season to season offer great opportunities to grow um, spiritually and emotionally and, and mentally. And just as a, another side note here, or another aspect of what's happening today, is that this is truly nature's start of the new year. If we had a New Year's Day to celebrate in terms of nature and what happens um, within the soil and the complexity and biology of that, um, this would be New Year's Day because here today we have this large burst of energy um, being released into the soil, into Mother Earth. And it is becoming the catalyst of what we will create with over the next year and what Mother Earth will create with over the next year. So your energy around you to manifest and co-create and to put those intentions forward and have the uh, consciousness respond is high. In fact, it's probably one of the days where that potential is highest if we're looking at it from the perspective of nature and, and our medicine wheel. So just a thought, make sure you're taking a moment to put those intentions on paper, put them on your vision board, stick them on your mirror, um, you know, get real clear on what it is that you want to envision for your life and for humanity and for our planet. And um, have a great rest of your day and come back to, um, to see some more information about living by the medicine wheel, living in accordance um, and alignment with nature. So take a moment to subscribe and like this video and uh, share it with your friends. Thanks so much. Have an amazing day.